All right, guys, this is Doc M. Welcome back to another very exciting Minecraft video. Yeah, we are in the latest pre release that just came out today. And don't you worry, um, yeah, I heard word from the developers that, um, yeah, we are on the finishing line. So I don't expect another version after 1.14. Four, maybe if they find some some very crucial bug, but yeah, when it comes to villagers, iron golem spawning, villager breeding, and all those things, villager trading, we are set now. I don't expect any bigger changes now. I talked to several developers, and yeah, all yeah said unanimously. Looks like we ironed out all the issues, and yeah, we headed towards 1.15 sooner or later so yeah great news and in other great news um, finally the missing link um, is there to make iron farms really really smooth and awesome without any redstone as you can see in front of me here you can see the standard iron cell one of those um, each of those should produce around four to five hundred iron per hour we got two of them here so yeah you do the math and yes yeah, thank you Mr. Techman88. He had a, a genius idea which sadly then got broken again in now the latest snapshot because yeah there were some changes with the pass finding but um, hey why is he how can he stand there oh okay because here we connected to the fence Technically, we don't need that bit of fence here. Yep, aha, uh -huh. on the fly fixing. So, uh, a glorious find uh, based on, yeah, let's say line of sights. Um, so yeah, this doesn't have to be in a chunk. I wanted to bring up this guy here. So we can see the line of sights. So right now you can see we have villagers in a working cell. And yeah, in this cell here, this is a pack of three and uh, these villagers have beds and workstations close by same over here and yeah that is the requirements for iron golem spawning villagers have to work regularly and also sleep regularly but also you can encourage the zombie spawning or go um, golem spawning by scaring them that's why we have a zombie here in the middle and this zombie is constantly scaring these two packs of spawning villagers on the side here so um, as those villagers can work and sleep and um, constantly get scared and um, yeah we use the line of sight here we get a constant flow of golem spawning as you can see down there down there you can make a collection thing kill them whatever you want that's not as important but uh, just make sure to drop them down um, at least 20 25 blocks so they're out of the radius of these villagers and cannot be detected anymore all right just drop them down so yeah how does this work so cleverly these villagers are bobbing up and down in the water here and sometimes when they bob their line of sight um, yeah or better say the zombies line of sight and their line of sight meet and that means they can get scared and yeah the trick here now was to find the perfect alignment for that to happen and it was very cleverly done here with the water and I see one thing here we can have a trapdoor in here as well to make it even a little bit more stable I don't think I have one in there already let me see yeah I don't think there is one already okay yeah we can set it up newly so you can sh see the thing in detail anyways so yeah let's look at one of these cells and I uh, fixed it and made it so it works again and um, there were some clever and tricky things to do with pathfinding but yeah so first of all in the original design we had a full slab there uh, or half slab that doesn't work we need to give them proper pathfinding so by adding um, this trapdoor here we enabled the pathfinding to these outer two stations so in the original design um, another station was here now this is technically also unreachable for the pathfinding now with the changes so um, we need to make sure to give them a pass to that and that's achieved by lowering this here uh, by one and that is good enough to give it a valid pass via this block here and with this setup now we have a stable and working system 
So um, yeah, let's get a block back in here so they can't get out. And now we can get some villagers in there. Okay, throw a villager in and another one and yeah, already picked the job. He's the farmer. So he's the butcher guy who's working on the smoker. I, I took uh, three different professions so we can see better. You don't have to do that actually. And let's get another one here and he should become the cartographer. Yeah, indeed. So he's the cartographer now and you can see they are trying to sleep and that is totally fine for the algorithm to detect a valid sleep attempt of the villager. It ca uh, has to be only so short and the cool thing now is with the zombie constantly scaring them further during the night but they um, validly slept with these co short dips. <coughs> we will also see villager uh, zombie come on golem spawning during the night hours. So that is really cool. So you can see here's proof for that. And that came from that cell because those pi guys over there haven't worked yet. So let's go to uh, time set 2000. This is when they start working. And then um, we can also see that this thing is stable now. And that was the problem in the original design and the basic idea that the villagers would lose their job. Um, because they didn't have any valid pathfinding. And voila, we saw another zombie. Most likely it came from that cell. Every 35 seconds um, a golem can spawn here. As you can see, we are in the latest version. And yeah, still those villagers keep their professions. And yeah, here there's the butcher, right? And we can see the cartographer, with the, the glasses of the cartographer poking out. And here we see the farmer. So that means this is stable now. And of course, now with these stable cells, this is how you have to do them. You can space this out. I was already working on another design together with uh, Wutex, stacking a lot of them together with portals. And yeah, using portal caching to really, really up the antes and then we should be able to push iron farms to way over 10,000 blocks uh, um, yeah, iron per hour again. Um, so yeah, but this was the breakthrough that was needed. Um, very, very simple. Um, some distances here, you should be able to replicate that. So you have a solid block where the villagers stand on, trapdoor. The trapdoor is waterlocked. One workstation here, full block. Workstation here, workstation there. Frame him in with a trapdoor. I'm kind of giving you a tutorial right now. All right. Next up, have a half slab here with a carpet on top. This carpet is needed to break the line of sight properly. And then just make sure you have the beds properly orientated like that. Right. F the heads of the beds facing like th th there. Okay, and don't have any blocks below the beds, otherwise villagers could maybe spawn out here and not be pushed back into their work cell um, the way they are supposed to. Okay, so this is the basic cell. I'm going to give you a little fly around. Don't forget about the trapdoor inside the water here. The water is key. That makes them bob. On top, you just block it off. You don't need this here. I just have it because uh, stupidly I'm in a snowy biome here and I had my water freezing so I had to put this on top um, but yeah just make sure uh, to block that off with a half slab, um, lower half slab so no iron golem can spawn on there. And distances now, um, let's go ahead, I'll take some glass blocks so you can see how far things are apart. So from um, your bed, right, one, two. And then you go one, two, three, four. And on the fifth block, you have the zombies sitting in the cauldron here. Don't use a composter. This could confuse the villagers' job assignment, right? But the composter here is also important. We have the villager on a certain height, uh, the zombie on a certain height. On top, have this half slab here to prevent the villager from coming out. And the distance to the other cell is exactly the same, All right? Four blocks easy peasy and yeah the same cell here just facing um, the other direction for the spawning platform you can see here is the half slab then you just do a five by five here of full blocks on top all the way and then you want to funnel the iron golems out to this side and to this side and you want to do that quickly you want to get your golems out of here fast 
because um, if they're in here, the villagers also check every 10 seconds if their buddy, vill uh, so, uh, you know, golem is here. So you will get them out of there. So now we got the cell synchronized, even got two spawns at the same time. And you can see they're transported off here fast. So five by five, fence here on the sides, fence gates on the sides where you want them to drop out. Of, of course, you open them up just like that. Here, to get a proper water flow, I'm quickly going to demonstrate that to you. So let's delete the water here. Oh god, it's snowing. <laughs> uh, why did I pick this spot to build this? This is the worst spot ever. Anyways, um, let's grab some water. As you can see, we got another golem spawned up here. And we want to make sure we transport them off fast. So first you do um, a line in the middle, right? And then next to it, another one. So you have a two wide uh, stream here that makes it so you know the zombies will um, the golems will never be able to get stuck up here. Maybe we get some freeze over. That's why I have the torches here. The torches are technically also not needed. Um, yeah, as I said, I picked the worst spot ever. Um, wait, uh, let's do a weather clear. <laughs> Come on, man. Seriously, it's not Christmas yet. It's a uh, heat wave. Yeah, and that's it. That's pretty much it. Um, now, just for uh, some, some information, those um, villagers, they need to be 10 blocks apart. They create a box around them, 10 blocks to each direction. Um, and if they are too close together, they would, um, you know, mix up um, amongst their three packs. You always only want to have three villages in here. So the next cell, if you want to stack these and cluster them up further, you would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten blocks distance and then here you would uh, do your next one. All right, so um, you have enough distance and then obviously that is horizontally and vertically. So if you want to go up, you also need to go up ten blocks away from where your villages are and take the head level to be sure. I don't look on foot level because they're floating about here a little bit. So you would probably count from this block and go 10 up. Okay. Yeah, and then you can space it out more. And um, there's also um, other ways to do it. Uh, you do don't have to use a zombie, for example. Uh, some of the pillagers have bigger reaches, right? And you could experiment with other positioning in other clusters for villagers. But this is the basic principle. And uh, with those are the 100% future proof yeah, villager cells. And yeah, really compacted now. So once again, big shout outs to Techman for the basic idea. Yeah, perfected it a little bit, made sure we have it now working in the newest version. And there you go. This is how you do it. Finally, we got the f yeah, basic principle of Iron Golem spawning down. Now, we can go for the crazy stuff. Alright, so thanks for watching my friends. I see you in the next episode. Or whatever. Oh, yeah, I need to record some Skyblock now with uh, logic. <laughs> Alright. Oh, two more. See ya!